T-Coil, the clear choice in high-performance flat cables. Remember, when you need the best, you need C-Coil. This video will show how to strip a C-Coil flat cable. C-Coil flat cables encase a wide variety of conductors in our exclusive flex seal material. The material, the jacketing material does not bond to the conductors, it just encases them. So it's very easy to strip the cable and to take it off. Here's one method of doing it. You simply mark on the cable where you want to strip the material. You can mark with any kind of a pen or, or any marking material. You take a straight edge or a razor and you score around the cable. You just make a light score. You don't cut into the conductors and then you take a plier or something and you just simply pull the, uh, the Flexil jacketing material off and then the, the wires are exposed. Very, very simple and very, very easy to do. This is another demonstration of, of, of how to strip the cable if you have a few more conductors and you want to strip perhaps a little deeper on the cable. So again, the same method, you, you uh, mark on the cable where you want to strip it. You again take the straight edge and you score around the cable, being careful not to, just to, to slightly score into the flexible material, not to cut into the conductors. Now in this case, you basically go between the conductors and you slit the cable between the, con the conductors. So now you have individual conductors encased in our flexil material that are left and uh, once you have that then you can strip them or, or not strip them as you as you prefer but in this case we'll show you take them one at a time you take a single plug at a time and you pull off the, the C-coil jacketing and and boom you're left with uh, again an exposed wire that you can terminate just like you would terminate any normal round wire. So it's very simple and easy and this is another method to uh, to strip a C-coil flat cable. And so you pull off one by one the, uh, the plugs of the flex seal material. Now this shows how to strip along a long length of the material. Now what we're seeing here is the exacto blade is being held stationary and you're pulling the cable, pulling the cable and the blade itself is self-centering in between the conductors. And this can be done for virtually any length because it's very easy to do and because of the, um, the path of least resistance within the, the, the C-coil flat cable, it automatically centers in between the conductors. So what's happening right now is you are slitting along the length of the cable and you can see how long the length is. And all you have to do is simply hold the X-Acto knife solidly down and pull and it strips the conductor separately. And you can see the conductor is totally uh, covered then by flex seal material. And you can do this for the entire length of the cable. It works very well. Now the final thing we're going to show is if you're trying to strip a cable that has shielded conductors. Shielded conductors um, will grab the flex seal material a little more so you need to do a little bit different technique. So again you mark where you want to strip it, you score the cable just like in the prior examples and then actually you make a slight scoring on top of the conductor slight score on top of the conductor on both sides of the cable as shown here. So just a slight score again not cutting into the conductor. And then actually what you do is you take your plier and you you remove half of the jacketing material and then you can see the shield and the conductor is is free now. And you do this one by one along the cable until eventually all the uh, conductors and all the shielded uh, wires are completely exposed and they're ready to be terminated to any kind of a standard any kind of a standard connector. So you can do this one by one. Again you can do it down any length of the cable and this cable could have been slit down the entire length of it just like we showed in the prior example. If a cable has already been uh, terminated you can see you can use any standard RTV and put it on the end and that'll seal the cable up on the end. It's very very easy to do. This is an example of using just standard RTV and where the cable has been slit, you can see a flat cable going into a round connector. Very, very simple, very easy, and very easy to work with.